Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Jason, and I'm here representing Naturepedic. Um, and I'm thrilled to be able to talk to you today about some of our crib mattresses. In particular, I'll be demoing our um, organic, breathable, two-stage crib mattress. Um, it's the only crib mattress that is both organic and breathable, which is really cool. I'm going to talk about the features. Uh, I'm going to review with you why organic is important, why you would want that. I'll also talk about breathability and why that's important, why you would want that, um, as well as a few other uh, safety tips that could be convenient and useful for you uh, shopping for a crib mattress. So um, here we go. I'm going to try to leave a little bit of time at the end for questions. So if you have them, just put them in the comments, and at the end we'll, we'll see if we can circle back to them. Okay, let's just jump right in. Um, so first of all, organic, right? What is organic, especially when you're talking about a crib mattress, right? We all know what organic is when we talk about food. We see it at the supermarket. Um, in general, the concept is it's healthier, right? Um, that produce, if you're buying an organic apple, the idea is it was not grown with synthetic pesticides, uh, it's right, GMOs, etc. But the idea is that it's healthier for you. So a crib mattress is kind of a similar idea, but when we talk about organic in a crib mattress, it's actually a little different. Let me let me let me just explain that for a second. So um, with a, with a crib mattress, you know what is organic inside a crib mattress? Right? What is an ag organic refers to an agricultural product. So it's the cotton that is organic. But um, I can't just put cotton, organic cotton, in a crib mattress and call it organic. No, that would that would not actually make it an organic mattress. Um, organic, in terms of a mattress, means that there are no chemicals inside that mattress that could potentially cause harm to you, uh, your family, your indoor air quality, of you know affecting that uh, or the environment. And um, that's really the end of the, that, that's really the goal, right? And there, there are other things in here. There might be an inner spring. There might be, you know, plastic waterproofing, those things that are not grown uh, in the same sense that an apple or a tomato or something is grown. Those things are not, um, you know, they're not grown. So basically the standard of organic refers to everything. And it, what, what I tell people is it's more about what's not in your crew mattress than what is. And like I said, I can't just put organic cotton in and call it organic. Um, and what's, what's really critical um, here is certification. That is the key word, it's certification. There's, there's a uh, organization called GOTS, G-O-T-S, that um, they have strict rules. It stands for the Global Organic Textile Standard. They have strict rules about what is allowed in a crib mattress and what is not, if you want to call it organic. Um, so for example, if it's, there's an inner spring, you know, they want steel, but they don't want nickel or cadmium and other chemicals that are bad for the environment. So um, that, that's a quick summary about organic. I, I'll just quickly put in a quick uh, uh, background on our company and kind of why, you know, why we make organic products. We're, we're Naturepedic. Uh, we were founded about 18 years ago. I'm actually one of the founders of the company. Um, and uh, 18 years, so, you know, my business partner is my dad, also my brother. And my, my dad and my mom, both my parents, have been environmental engineers their whole lives. They've devoted their lives to uh, ridding the world of harmful chemicals, especially in consumer products. And they, they were doing that for the last 40 years, well before we made mattresses. Um, we're not one of these companies that's been making mattresses for, uh, for generations or something like that. Um, you know, but you know, basically when we started the company, we, we had a passion about that. And um, the, the point I'm getting to is it's the only thing we do, right? We don't make other mattresses or other bedding, we only make organic product because that's what we care about. And um, it's important to understand that because you know we don't cut corners when it comes to organic. We're not just trying to make it look good. This is what we care about and this is what we do. Okay, so anyway, <laughs> moving on. Uh, let's talk about breathability for a second. So uh, you may have heard um, you know, the term breathability talk you know, in terms of a crib mattress lately. So what does that mean? Why does a crib mattress need to be breathable? So uh, I'll start with kind of a, a, a standard tip. Many of you will probably know this already, but the only things that go in a crib should be the crib mattress and the baby. Maybe the baby's wearing a swaddle. You're not supposed to put anything else in your crib. It's a safety hazard. Uh, the, CFD, the CPSC has been telling people this for, uh, for a long time, for decades now. It means no, no stuffed animals, no toys, no pillows, no blankets. Even bumpers now are not recommended inside a crib uh, because any of those objects could 
you know, cover uh, the baby's face at some point if the baby rolls around and it could, you know, be a suffocation hazard. So um, the motivation behind making a breathable crib mattress is to increase that, that airflow uh, even underneath the baby. And this is actually something worth showing you guys. Um, this is what the surface of our crib mattress looks like. And if you look real close here, you see that the, there's sort of a pattern, um, sort of a mesh pattern there. That, you know, what that is, that is a surface that is permeable. So, you know, um, if, the baby's, if the baby turns over to be face down and their face is on that surface, they can actually breathe indefinitely straight into that surface. That's what a breathable mattress is. Um, and, uh, you know, what, what, what's cool, so... We actually make this, our, our design is a little different than everything else you would see on the marketplace, and that's what I really want to um, focus on. The difference is we've encapsulated the breathable, uh, the breathable technology into a removable cover. And I'll just show you, th this is our mini crib size, this is our full, full size crib, standard crib size, but see that the cover comes right off, right? And what's great is underneath you have a fully functional completely waterproof crib mattress um, that, you know, you can take the cover off and actually use that as a crib mattress. But um, when you want the breathable part, you just, you just slip this right on. And the, the cover material is not, it's not like a thin fabric. It actually has like a little bit of thickness. Like if I, if I pinch it between my fingers like this, it's actually spongy a little bit because it's got thickness. Air can go in and spread through the fabric and then escape. So literally, it's impossible to block, you know, an air air passage as well on this um, material. And as I mentioned, we do do this differently than most, um, you know, some other some other possible designs out there are where the entire crib mattress is breathable all the way through, kind of like it's almost like a giant sponge almost. Um, and uh, you know, look, I. I I'm a dad, okay, so I have, I got three kids, my oldest is five, my, I have a daughter who's three, and I have a son who just turned one uh, a couple days ago, um, so needless to say, I have been, <laughs> I have been changing diapers on a daily basis for the last um, five years, nonstop, um, and, uh, you know, for those of you who are new parents or going to be new parents, first of all, congratulations, um, but second of all, you're going to hear the term diaper explosion. Um, don't worry, the diapers don't actually explode, but uh, the aftermath kind of looks like an explosion. So um, anyway, babies are super cute, but they can be a little bit, uh, they can be a little bit gross sometimes, right? You know, sippy cups leak, bottles leak, diapers leak, uh, they spit up. Your crib mattress is going to get hammered. Your crib mattress is going to get wet. And um, we believe that making the breathable layer removable uh, will contain it, okay, um, as opposed to having it breathable all the way through the mattress where uh, the inside of the mattress would be virtually impossible to clean um, or sanitize. Um, not to mention, let, let, let me paint a picture for you. Let's say it's 3 o'clock in the morning and uh, your baby has a diaper explosion, right? You just want to go back to bed. The best thing you could possibly do is peel the cover off and throw it in the wash, put a sheet back down on the mattress and your baby can go right back to sleep. Um, if, if the mattress was entirely permeable, that mattress would be out of commission for, uh, for the rest of the night. So um, anyway, that's why we do it the way we do it. Okay. Um, oh yeah, one other quick comment about our cover is that it actually has a waterproof layer on the back. So even though the breathable side is breathable, no liquids can even get through this cover to reach the mattress in the first place. So it's sort of like it has a built-in mattress protector as well. You don't actually have to buy a mattress protector with this because it's it's part of the mattress itself. Okay, so um, so that's breathable, right? Um, so we're organic, we're breathable. Uh, I'll just take um, a few more minutes here to talk about some other safety tips that you should keep in mind when shopping for a crib mattress. Any crib mattress, ours or someone else's. Um, so the first one that uh, question I always get is about firmness, right? How firm should a crib mattress really be? Uh, this is something that is counterintuitive to many parents. They feel like uh, if the crib mattress is too firm, it's not going to be comfortable. And they want to get a very soft surface for their baby. That is a mistake. Uh, the CPSC pediatricians have been talking about um, 
about how a firm crib mattress is really the safest uh, crib mattress you could possibly get. Obviously, within reason, it shouldn't be as hard as concrete. But when you're shopping for crib mattress, just you know, go over, give it a little little push. It should feel kind of soft on the surface, um, but you shouldn't be able to push into it, right? Okay, so along those same lines is another thing called edge support. Okay, so um, what is edge support? What that means is we, you know, the, the edges of the mattress, the perimeter of the mattress uh, needs to be extra supported, extra reinforced. Why? Because as your baby gets older, turns into a toddler, that toddler is going to start to grab onto the edge of the crib and jump right on the edge of that crib mattress. It gets a lot of pressure, not to mention if you have a crib that converts to a toddler bed, uh, it, you know, the child might be sitting on the edge or even you might be sitting on the edge. I do this with my, my three-year-old daughter. She's in a toddler bed and uh, I read her books at night and, you know, sometimes I'll just sit right on the edge of the mattress right there. So that, that part will take a lot of abuse. Um, anyway, most inner spring crib mattresses have edge support built in, lightweight crib mattresses. So if it's made with foam or, you know, something that's not an inner spring, there's almost a 100% chance it does not have edge support, except for the mattresses we make. The, our lightweight mattresses have edge support. I'm pretty sure we're the only ones doing this, uh, but they're, they're super strong. I cannot squeeze the edge of this mattress down at all. It's very firm over there. Um, okay, so uh, let's talk about... Let's talk about lightweight versus uh, inner spring, since I just touched on that topic. Um, what's the difference? Do you want an inner spring? Do you want lightweight? Uh, what are the advantages of lightweight? Why would somebody want that? Well, if you're changing the sheets in your crib uh, once a week, twice a week, something like that, um, that, lifting that mattress in and out can get tedious, can get heavy. A lightweight crib mattress will make that easier. Lightweight mattresses range from, like, say, 8 to 12 pounds. An inner spring crib mattress is about 20 pounds. It doesn't seem like a big difference, but, again, reaching down to lift up something 20 pounds, uh, you'll appreciate having lightweight. Inner spring is technically stronger. It's a little bit uh, overkill for a baby unless, you know, like I said, if, you're, if you ever plan on using it as a toddler bed and sitting on the edge as an adult sitting on the edge, I'd probably steer you more towards inner spring. We make them both ways. Okay, let's talk about dimensions. I get the question all the time. Will this crib mattress fit my crib? Uh, well, I have really good news for you. Uh, the industry is standardized. So if you buy a standard crib and a standard crib mattress, it will fit. That is, that is how it is. The industry has, you know, all the manufacturers have agreed upon the same sizes as it is an ASTM standard. Um, I'm not going to say there aren't random exceptions that happen once in a while, but 99% of the time you don't have to worry about it. Uh, okay, uh, I, I'll just touch real quickly on materials one more time. The one I didn't talk about is allergens. Uh, you know, the, in terms of a crib mattress, the materials that are usually a problem in terms of allergens are latex and wool. It's really what we're talking about. Uh, because of that, we as a company do not use latex or wool in any of our baby products, even down to if we have elastic, like, you know, for our sheets or anything, we don't use, um, we don't use latex elastic. We get latex free everything and certainly not inside the product itself. Um, okay, let's see. Uh, we have a lifetime warranty on all of our crib mattresses, so you don't have to worry about that. Call us in 10 years if, uh, if there's something wrong. Um, you know, we'll replace it. So no worries there. Um, our company is uh, a U.S. based company. We're here in Chagrin Falls. That's where I am right now. It's where our factory is. Um, it's a beautiful little town, you know, uh, about a half hour south of Lake Erie. Um, a large part of our workforce is Amish. So you really get, you're really getting a handmade, handcrafted product here and supporting domestic companies. Um, with our company, um, and yeah, we're we're just uh, we're just thrilled and you know really happy to to be part of this expo. I think that's all I have. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna pause for a second and see if we have any questions. Uh, nothing. Really nothing that came in. Okay, great. Well, um, I thank you guys so much for tuning in, and uh, hopefully you learned something. And if you have any questions, uh, you can email us. You can chat with us. You can you know, pick up the phone and call us. Uh, our website is naturepedic.com and we are offering a 15% uh, discount code on um, 
on anything purchased on our website using code PRAGO15. Um, and here's a little tip for you. That code will work on anything on our website, even the adult mattresses. So uh, you might see behind me, I actually have an, you know, an adult mattress back here. We make everything from crib all the way up to king, cal king, everything. So um, uh, give me one second. Let me just check if any questions came in. Um, okay, um, I do have one, one, one question about uh, our waterproofing. So the question is, right, so I talked about the, the cover and how that works, but underneath, so the, the mattress that's underneath, and this is kind of the standard that all of our mattresses, uh, how all of our mattresses are made, right? This bottom material is waterproof, okay? Yes, it is a, a, a plastic. It is a bioplastic. We make this entirely from sugarcane, actually. So uh, it's not petroleum. It is a bioplastic. It is a hundred percent waterproof. Now, this is a really big deal in the crib mattress industry. L like I said before, the, the uh, your crib mattress is going to take a beating. Um, you know, it's going to get wet. The last thing you want to do is spoil this investment that you've made in an organic product. Um, this material uh, will not let any liquids inside the mattress. Um, there are other mattresses out there that say water resistant or, um, you know, something like that, that is not waterproof. Okay. I'm sure you've all seen the commercials of, you know, where they, they pour some kind of water on the mattress and it beads off that, that material is, uh, is treated, you know, no fabric does that naturally. That fabric is treated with PFOAs. Won't get into the, um, won't get into the chemical details on it, but it's not a good material. It's been, been known to cause environmental issues. Um, so we don't use anything like that. But the, the other problem with it is even though the water will beat off, if water is sitting on that kind of material for several hours, it will eventually go through and ruin your mattress. Um, so th this waterproofing that we use is 100% unique to us. We have, we invented it, we patented it. Um, you know, you're really, you're really getting something different with that material, you know, it's. Uh, um, it's actually, not only is it uh, derived from sugarcane, but it actually meets the FDA food contact standards. So that means it's, it's literally chemically similar to what a Ziploc bag is made of. You could eat food off of it. It's that pure and that safe. Um, there's just nothing like it on the market anywhere. So anyway, that's us. That's Naturepedic. Um, okay, thank you guys very much.